Sounds like Marvel ran out of ideas. Another Constructicon setting up for the Combiner. Rampage is unique for his boing boing ability and tread whips used to face off Bumblebee. He seemed to easily jump around, which is good for a boxing match, but wasn't entirely agile. Studio Series brings him back, this time in the proper screen colors and taller compared to his deluxe version. Also no spider legs, whatever that was. Rampage transforms into a massive bulldozer, and by massive, I mean in comparison to the original deluxe version. I guess that's what you get for consuming veggies. The scale gets smaller, but the rampage gets bigger. I like the red with a slightly orange tint, like finding the most red crayon that doesn't look too purple. Loads of black including the grill and droopy heavy duty treads. Also the wide plow that I keep thinking is gonna open up to start the conversion. Check out the blue solid windows in the canopy with oh, robot kibble? Yeah, there's a lot of it, but considering the three modes and gappy form, it's fine. I'm sure the real vehicle isn't a smooth Blade Runner Tesla truck anyways. This doesn't mean there isn't any intentional detail work on top inside the treads and the pipings keep the top ones in mind. But what's in the plow? A vacuum? No, just a port for display reasons, but bring it down to lock the third wheel. Look over here to find the base held in by tabs sandwiched in the treads. And yes, those are claws on the back, which I'm sure you could fold in, but this is apparently the correct way. Can I just imagine they're just there to catch rocks or whatever? I want to be in denial. I love how the treads have this droop motion to give it a sense of realistic flow. And you can see this long bar that doesn't seem to line up, but credit for the attempt. Wheels roll fine and the heft is impressive, which is probably why it was my favorite Tonka growing up. I feel like I could use it as a brick, build a house with these, and see a big bad wolf have a tantrum. This isn't perfect in design and functionality. The plow doesn't move, but it's still a powerful beast that'll help move those annoying trolls out of the way. The vehicle is built for a mission and is enjoyable. Robot mode! in robot mode looks so real to the version in the film. The red seems like the right shade and the details are wonderful. Look at how much depth is in the torso with the hydraulics and textures. Mm, sometimes it's overboard, but that's Da Vinci. But wait, it's a Bayformers figure, so it's problematic, Bay haters might say. Why would you like this? The name is from a Predacon, the hands are huge, and the single jackhammer leg is dumb poopy. How could anyone enjoy this? Well, to quote Phoenix, you wouldn't get it. This might be a lame joke, but I have to say it. Ain't no shovel back girl, ain't no shovel back girl. Where you go with this single leg and big hands with the big fingers? It ain't no shovel back girl. Ain't no shovel back girl. Look, it's big, but it's out of the way. And from the front view, he is so wide that it covers it up. Mmm, that's a meaty man. Too bad about the canopy on the leg. Speaking of that, unless it's a jackhammer, not sure how useful it will be in actual construction work. But hey, they don't even have helmets, so corporate's gonna go nuts. Oh, look at those caution logos just made for the robot mode. Should have warned people before they watched the film. <laughs> Glad it's got a base that's not obnoxiously large. Like, oh, I don't know, three extra limbs defeating the point. It pops off from a normal peg, so you could just have the figure by itself. Perfect idea. Also, if you want a combiner's foot. If I have to complain, it's that he's so wide that in some poses, tilting to the side with the weight will probably not work. Look at the head on the caterpillar neck with the grumpy chin and raccoon-style makeup that makes it look like the Incredibles in disguise. I feel like the black color needs to break up, and I wish the eyes were more pronounced, maybe with the deep red, but it still works. Did someone say, articulation? <laughs> Ball joint head side to side, up and down, butterfly joint, shoulder up and down, forward to back. <laughs> Fingers move with two joints, ratchet ab joint, rotation below, and another joint in the leg. Postability is fine if you can make it work with the shifted weight on a single... 
hoping that's not what I think it is. Moving the center really starts giving him some energy and motion, but no elbow joint sort of ruins it. Also wish the whips could extend out. Let's take a look at the accessories. Rampage includes the stand, but that's not all. I love when weapons are integrated to the toy, and these stacks can be removed and added to the thumb as guns. Funny how this little thing just makes him so much more fun. There's so much going on, yet blasters in the thumb is apparently needed. It's a hassle getting into leg mode with half the arm rotating around and barely shifting to slide into a tab, but man, this feels proper for Devastator. Look at those awesome toes and ankle with great movement. I'm concerned how strong this is as I feel things warp and the entire figure would rely on the strength of the legs, but I can't not get excited. There's ways to keep the base in, but unless you want to keep the parts together, you don't need it. I love the vehicle mode. It just feels powerful and fitting for the figure. With the robot, I'm not going to argue with anyone who doesn't like the style of the Bay films, but there's some person on this. It's crazy, but provokes that model seen in the film pretty well, unlike some of the other figures of this design. Not perfect, but Rampage does a pretty good job with keeping my attention. Few joints should be tighter, but this is a good toy for something insane. I must advise that you don't give him caffeine.